this video will show you how to roll out your clay so that it's ready to cut your walls. So notice that it's a little bit wider in this direction than it is in this direction. So the narrower side, that's where I'm gonna put my Home Depot sticks. I want them as close as possible to the edges. Uh, about a half inch away is okay, but I have mine basically right on the side. Um, then I'm gonna get my rolling pin. I'm gonna scooch all this just a little bit. Now I have my rolling pin and I have to make sure that the sticks aren't wider than my rolling pin. Sure enough, my rolling pin goes over the edges, so I'm good. These sticks are exactly this right here, is a quarter inch wide. So you need to make sure that the sticks can always roll across this. If we had gotten rid of this and this could roll here, but then on the other side is touching, this side would end up being thicker than this side. Um, whereas if we didn't have the sticks at all and we were just rolling, we would have to eyeball it. And obviously none of us know exactly what a quarter inch looks like just from looking at it. So it's much easier to always have the sticks there. So um, I'm going to take my rolling pin and I'm gonna start rolling this. Initially, some people like to do this. Don't do that. People wanna stick their fingers in it. Don't do that. You wanna keep it as smooth as possible. And if you're doing things like that, then it's making it not smooth anymore. Mine is still pretty thick, so I didn't actually ruin it. Um, but if you do that too much, you're gonna ruin it and have to wedge it and start over. Don't wanna have to do that. So I'm going to start rolling it out. I'm actually standing right now along the table um, if you stand, you can get more muscle because uh, you can kind of press from your upper body. So you're going to go in one direction, you're going to go in the other direction. If mine actually is not really rolling over the edges, but sometimes, just to demonstrate, sometimes it'll roll over the edges a little bit. If that happens, you're going to take a tool. Any one of these three tools are fine for this stage, either the plastic knife, the X-Acto knife, or the pin tool. But you're just gonna take one of them and you're gonna trim the edge that's going, uh, trim the part that's going over the edge. You wanna make sure that nothing goes over the edge of the ruler. Because again, like I said, this is a quarter inch thick. Whereas if I layered some clay on it, it's no longer a quarter inch thick. It's a little bit thicker than that. So I'm gonna take that off and go back to rolling and i'm going to keep rolling until i can't roll anymore the way you know you can't roll anymore is that the uh the um what's the word the rolling pin is hitting the sticks so um again mine just went over the edge a little bit so i'm going to peel that and I'm going to keep rolling some more. Okay, and so it's going over the edge. Again, I would peel that a little bit. And so you're just gonna keep doing that until it's totally flat. So when the rolling pins can hit, so here you can hear they're hitting. Here you can hear it's dull. So I know that right there, it's actually not totally flat yet. So I'm gonna roll it a little bit more until it's as flat as possible. I think I'm just about there. Okay, so I'm good to go now. So now I would take my pattern piece. You guys only have one pattern piece. Please only take one from the cart. I just took a couple to show you that you're gonna fit them Make sure you fit them as well as you can. So like, for example, had I put mine up here, I wouldn't be able to fit another one there. So just kind of play around and fit as many, uh, you wanna be able to cut out as many as possible without having to re-roll it. Um, your clay's a little bit bigger than this, so you should be able to cut three or four pieces each time you roll. Mine was smaller, so by only cutting, uh, only, could only fit two. But you're gonna cut off those extra edges And now I would take my pattern piece and I, you see I'm lining it right up along that line. You wanna make sure it's not going over the edge. So if it went over the edge a little bit, that wouldn't be okay. It has to be fully on the clay. Oops. 
and you want it as absolutely straight as possible. If it's not super straight, then you're gonna end up with random little holes in your box, which of course we don't want. So all this extra, I'm just gonna peel off for now and get rid of, I'll show you what to do with that in a moment. So now I have four pieces. You can turn them on their side to check and see if they're pretty even. So this one did get a little bit, I may have just pulled it when I picked it up. So actually that's pretty good. They're almost completely even. They might be a smidge skinnier, but if we look at this one, this is actually, the side is definitely thinner than the side. Um, that's actually because before I rolled it, the side was a little bit thinner. It was already thinner than a quarter inch. So this one's really close. It would be okay, but if it's any skinnier than this, then you definitely, you just have to uh, ball it up and you'd have to wedge it and redo it. Um, so now I have all these little scraps that I had cut from my edges. I'm just gonna go ahead and smush those into a ball. And then of course, from this point, I would wedge them. And once they're wedged, then uh, they're ready to do all those steps all over again.